Good evening and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Dan Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, this is going to be a channel news update, uh, episode number 43. So uh, as you can see slightly behind me here is a, uh, I, I, got, I purchased a new bookshelf and it really did not only expand the space that I have uh, for all of my RPGs, but uh, it uh, also you know, has room for, for more and certainly allowed me to better organize my collection. So what I was going to do with this video is uh, I'm just going to go through it uh, section by section, show you what I have, and then if there's anything that you see in there that you'd like for me to spend a little time with, then uh, that will be an upcoming video uh, based on your, on your comments uh, left in the comment section of this video. So I'm also going to be messing a little bit around with, uh, with pausing a existing video and then picking it up again. So hopefully that will uh, transition uh, as well as I like. I got to be away from the screen here and just going through each section. So I'm kind of looking over my shoulder to see that the, the, the image is cast, you know, capturing the way that I'm hoping that it will. But, uh, We'll see. That's why I'm going to use the pausing feature in order to, uh, in order to have it uh, kind of well organized and flow uh, pretty well. So, once again, uh, thank you for joining, and uh, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the collection here. All right. So, as you can see in this uh, first two sections. And let's see how I'm going to stretch my self over here. So in the first section, I have my Dungeons and Dragons. And I begin with the, the Rules Cyclopedia, followed by First Edition. And I have all of the editions in there, you know, in the order. I only have one X hardcover for for fifth edition that, that was Sword Coast Adventures Guide. But uh, I have the Rule Cyclopedia, which is D D and all of the the uh, the different uh, I almost said episodes, the different uh, editions or or steps of the rules, uh, D and D rules. Then first edition uh, A D and D second edition, third, fourth, and fifth. I don't have 3.5. I don't really see, um, don't really see the need for doing that. Uh, you know, picking that up, uh, but maybe someday I'll, I'll break down and actually do that. So here I have some of my older box sets. So I have the, the Holmes edition of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and these are complete box sets, by the way. So the Holmes edition, followed by the Moldvay edition. Moldvay was the was the first box set that I actually played uh, and owned uh, D and D. This is a uh, Menser, uh, and just the basic Conan uh, TSR's uh, Conan RPG, which I just recently picked up. I have Top Secret, Gangbusters, Bushido. Twilight 2000, and uh, over here we have uh, James Bond 007, where I have the the, the rule book plus uh, plus the Q manual in here, and then Pirates and Plunder, which wasn't a, a phenomenally good game, but uh, it was one that I played back then, and I, I kind of enjoyed it. So, uh, and then here is uh, back over on this side is the Dungeons and Dragons animated series, all 27 episodes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause this and then uh, move over to the next section. So, pause. Okay, so here we go with the uh, next two sections of my uh, collection. So the first is, uh, is Mifrog first edition uh, that's 1.4 followed by followed by Mifrog 2.2 then 
Mifrog, this is probably 2.6, yes. 2.6, now I actually started with Mifrog 2.4, but I, I can't seem to find, you know, what I did with that. But 2.6, 2.7, then 3.0. The second 3.0 is a signed copy that uh, Varg had sent me. Then I have uh, this RPG here, which I haven't done a video on yet, is uh, Vikinger. Uh, I have to get around to actually doing a video of that. Now this is a, a Nordic setting, uh, the Ice Kingdoms, uh, which I actually haven't done a video on that as well. And then some of these smaller uh, splat books for Mifrog uh, going through here. And then I have uh, Sorcery and, and Religion in Ancient Scandinavia by Varg Vikernes. I have uh, The Secret of the She-Bear by Marie Cachette, as well as a few other uh, uh, Paganism Explained and Reflections of European uh, Mythology and Polytheism, also by Varg Vikernes. Now in this next, in this next section, and I'll move this over a little bit, I have the tale of Gorian, uh, the tale of uh, tales of gore, the Gorian role playing. This is by uh, James Grimm Desborough, uh, put out by Post uh, Postmortem Studios. I haven't done a video on that yet. There's a world book that I'm waiting to pick up for that. There's Lion Lion and Dragon by uh, RPG Bundit. That's medieval authentic role-playing, uh, OSR role-playing game. And this is the setting book, uh, Dark Albion, uh, the, uh, the Rose War. So basically set on the War of the Roses. Far Away Land is a video that I just recently did. DCC RPG, so Dungeon Crawl Classics. I have to get around to doing a video. That's going to be a, a multi-part video. Um, it's, good. it's a pretty massive book, as you can see. Uh, Basic Fantasy. I did videos with Basic Fantasy a little over a year ago. Uh, this is uh, Sword and Wizardry Continual Light, kind of a light version of that game. I don't have the complete system of that. I'm, I'm going to have to get around to actually getting that. This is a uh, Mythic game emulator, which I've actually found systems that I like better than that. Here we have Lamentations of a Flame Princess. The Rules and Magic, uh, the core rule book, uh, player core rule book. That's the only, uh, only book of, only book of that game I actually have. So here is a, a bit of my Bloat Games collection. We have Dark Places and Demogorgons. The Cryptic Manual for that as well. Followed by Zombies. I survived this Zombies. Second edition of Survive This Zombies. And then I have here Vigilante City and the second book for. So this is the uh, Villain's Guide of Vigilante City. So I am going to pause the video again and we will go to the next sections. All right, so in this next section, you can see that I have my uh, I have the first two waves of 
three waves of Robert E. Howard's Conan um, Adventures in an Age Undreamed of. So I have the, the collector's edition. Then that's the standard, uh, standard core rules. And then these are all supplements along with it. So there's you know, plenty of room for the remainder. I believe there's four more books that I'm waiting on. I have Dungeons and Dragons, The Art of Arcana. I'll just slide this over a little bit and let's see. Empire's uh, Empire of Imagination by Michael Whit Whitmer Wer, Whitwer, sorry. Of Dyson Men by David M. Ewalt. Waiting for one more book, uh an actual Gary Gygax uh, uh Dungeon Mastery or Game Game Math Games Mastery. Uh, book. I'm waiting to get that. I just recently purchased that on eBay. I have a little GaryCon dice bag. I actually haven't gone to GaryCon, but uh, I like the dice bag. That's my collection of dice. All right, and just have a couple more sections, so I'm going to pause once again. Okay, so now this next section is, is kind of a hodgepodge. I have uh, Savage Worlds, and uh, it's, it's all the uh, Solomon Kane Savage Worlds. This is the Cthulhu Mythos put out by uh, Sandy Peterson. This happens to be the Pathfinder version of it. Um, then uh, Never Going Home. It's the next, and I, I recently did a video on Never Going Home, so you can look over the catalog and see that. Machinations of a Space Princess, I just did the video for that. Uh, this is uh, Savage World Deluxe. I have two white box games here. I have... Uh, oh. It's the same one. Let's see. I have uh, World War II Operation White Box, and this should be White Box Fantasy. Yes, White Box Fantasy, which I've done a video for that quite a while ago. Now, these are all of my, uh, my books for Four Against Darkness. Now, this is Armies and Hordes, which is a which is a miniatures game, a little bit larger scale miniatures game. And then this is this is Advanced Songs Song of Blades and Heroes, which is a fantasy skirmish miniature rules game. And then all of my for Against Darkness books, which I've done quite a few videos uh, quite a while back on those, but that's the remainder of this. Yes, that's the remainder here. So there's there's quite a few uh, smaller splat books there. Uh, without pausing, I'm going to shift this over. And couple more box sets. So I have Shadow Run Beginner's Box, Pathfinder, uh, Role Playing Game Beginner Box. This is the 5e starter set. Uh, and then this is the Stranger Things version of that. Star Trek, uh, Fasta Star Trek, uh, the role playing game. That's also a complete set. And then let's get the final two sections down here at the bottom and these are for my larger larger uh, boxes so I have uh, like a, a melee mats 
then down at the bottom is uh, the Conan uh, from Monolith. Very large uh, set of, uh, you know, gameplay. It's been a while since I've done that video or, you know, maybe I just have to go back and, and rehash it. Uh, it's been quite a long time since I've done that video. And then finally, I have... Uh, Finally, I have my my PDF of uh, Star Frontiers. So everything Star Frontiers is in that one large, you know, three and a half inch or three inch binder. And uh, I haven't gotten around to picking up the box sets yet. And then uh, Pathfinder, the uh, the card game, the adventure card game, and that's the uh, Skulls and Shackles. And I have all of the expansions to that. And then finally. These uh, stacks of uh, PDFs are all the the remainder of the supplement books for uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons First Edition that I have uh, the rest of the books in PDF. So I still have a few more things in the you know in the closet uh, from my old bookshelf that I have to. Uh, just repackage. Uh, those are mostly PDFs as well. Uh, once I get the remainder of my uh, my books, and I'll see where I have room to put some some more items here. Uh, that's something that I'm going to do. And finally, the last last thing I included. Um, let's see. I'm going to pause this for one second, make sure I have the right shot. And there we have at the very top of my bookcase, my, uh, these are various pamphlets and postcards and uh, the leatherette map that came out of, uh, of Hyboria, that came out of um, one of the, one of the collector's edition Conan games that I have. Uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't Conan Exiles. It was the one previous to that. Um, of oh, the Age of Conan. So um, so that's that's the last roundup of my uh, my new bookshelf and display of various things. So we will shift over. So once again, thanks for joining. Uh, like I said, if if there's anything that I just showed on the bookshelf that you'd like for me to go uh, into deeper detail or, you know, perhaps a, a full video on it as well, uh, then, you know, please feel free to leave a comment and I will get around to doing that uh, within the next week or so. I always try to respond as quickly as I can. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime soon. You'll have a good rest of the week.